Hi guys, welcome to this new demonstration where I will be showing you how to design a sports car. Usually I start from the side view and the first thing that I do I set the overall length of the wheelbase and for a common sports car with uh, the engine position in the center like a mid-engine sports car, the wheelbase is four and a half wheels. And then uh, the next thing that uh, we're going to do is to start uh, with the basic line drawing, keeping it very loose. And uh, here it, the important part is to set the perspective and the overall proportion of the object. I add details like I try to understand where the, where the windshield is and then it's very important to flip the drawing in order to control that uh, the overall proportion of the object it is successful flip back again and we just keep adding details and in particular we try to fix the position of the wheels little by little the drawing is going to grow and the goal is to achieve a successful line drawing that will then be rendered with the light from the top and light at the sunset I think it's important to notice that this approach of counting how many wheels you need to make the wheelbase of your object and how many wheels you need to identify the overall height of the object can be used for any design that you want to do. You can use it for the design of a city car or for a design of a bicycle or for the design of a heavy truck and so on. Now it's time to do the rendering. I will show you here a couple of approaches that I use very often when it comes to rendering. The first thing that I do, I need to decide where the light source is. I can set the light source on top of the object, and in this case I will have a very short shadow, or I will set the light source on the side of the object, pretending this to be a sunset scene. In the first case, with the light source on top of the object, as you can see the shadow is very short and then what we do is all about building the volume of the object. You can do it doing a grayscale first and then suddenly you apply the color or you can start from the beginning using colors. And so here you have to be careful in building that nice color variation in this case I'm doing a yellow car. It's very important to leave the light yellows on those surfaces that are facing the top. At the end, I will complete the wheels. It is very important to also give uh, a nice indication of the interior that will be completed with uh, an effect that will give the idea that there is glass covering the interior of the vehicle.
In this second rendering, as you can see I have placed the light source on the side of the object and I will try to build a sunset scene. The first thing that we notice is that the shadow is very long and it's uh, on one of the sides of the object. The second thing that we notice is that on top of the object there is a representation of the sky that in particular contains a very dark core that is right on top of the object. The sky works as a, a source of cold light and it will affect the color and the tone of all those surfaces facing up. Little by little I will work on the wheels, making them uh, with uh, warm grays because they are pretending to look in at the light source that is expected to be a very low sun set on the side of the object. I will be adding uh, details, shadows, a nice indication of the interior and the most important part in order to create a very dramatic rendering it will be at the end, making sure that I create that nice reflective glass effect and I can achieve that using reflections. I'm going to finish this demonstration showing you a final result that I will be achieving using some uh, additional tools available for digital drawing. I think we can conclude at the end of this uh, demonstration that uh, the light from the top scenario is probably more indicated for product design and the uh, sunset scenario is probably the best for uh, car design. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next demonstration.